Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good Sunday. Welcome to another live lesson from 5 Minute Language. In today's lesson, I'm going to talk to you about different ways in which you can convince other people or persuade other people to do something in English. So I'm going to give you five different phrases that you can use to do that. So the first phrase I want to cover is the phrase, why don't you? Uh, why don't you do something? So we can use this phrase with the verb to think, for example, say, why don't you think about doing something? Or we can also use it with the verb consider. So why don't you consider something? So this is a kind of almost like a question that you're asking somebody and you're basically asking them to consider something or to think about something. So rather than telling them to do it, you are asking them to think about it. So for example, why don't you think about learning Spanish? Or why don't you consider learning Spanish? Um, and it's basically encouraging somebody to think about something and perhaps uh, convincing them very gently that they should do it. The next phrase I want to share with you is the phrase or the word perhaps. Um, so perhaps you could think about something or perhaps you could consider something. And that's very similar to the one that I just mentioned. Why don't you think about something? Perhaps you could think about something. So that's just giving somebody a suggestion uh, or an idea to think about. So perhaps you could consider learning French if you want to move to France, or perhaps you could think about learning French if you want to go to France. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is, um, it might be a good idea. Uh, that's another phrase that is a bit like the previous one in that you're just giving somebody an idea for something. So you're convincing them or persuading them to do something very gently. So, for example, it might be a good idea to study every other day if you want to get fluent in English. Uh, it might be a good idea to eat more fruit and vegetables if you want to be healthy. So you're not directly telling the person that they should do something, you're just telling them that something might be a good idea for them. It might not be, but you are convincing them very gently that something uh, that they should consider doing something. Okay, so the fourth phrase is, I would appreciate it if, so for example, I would appreciate it if you didn't call me in the evening. So rather than focusing on the other person and the actions that you want them to take, you are focusing on yourself and you're saying that you would appreciate something you would feel happy if somebody else did something. So I would appreciate it if you could cook for me today. I would be happy if you could cook for me. Um, so that's another kind of gentle way of convincing somebody or persuading somebody to do something without directly telling them to do it. So I would appreciate it uh, if is followed by the past simple tense. So I would appreciate it if you could come back early. Um, so could is in the past simple tense. Um, I would appreciate it if you cooked for me today. Again, cooked is in the past simple tense. That's just a grammatical structure that you need to use with this phrase. Uh, and the final phrase I want to share with you, or two different variations of it, is I can assure you or I can guarantee so I can assure you that if you learn French, you will be good at it. I can assure you. I can guarantee that you will like the soup I made. I can guarantee that you will like it. So I'm trying to convince you to have the soup. I think you will like it. So I can say, I can assure you that you will like it or I can guarantee that you will like it. So again, it's a gentle way of persuading somebody uh, rather than saying you should have this soup, you can say that uh, you can guarantee that the person will like it and hopefully they will be convinced. Um, okay, so let's just recap. Uh, the first phrase was why don't you? So why don't you think about something or why don't you consider something? Uh, the second phrase was perhaps. So perhaps you could think about something. 
or perhaps you could consider something. Uh, the third phrase was, it might be a good idea. For example, it might be a good idea to go for a walk. Uh, the fourth one was, I'd appreciate it if you could do something. I would appreciate it if you cooked for me tonight. Uh, and the final one was, I can assure you or I can guarantee that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy these five phrases in English. Make sure that you like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well if you want to watch more of these live lessons. I will be doing them every Sunday at 4.30 London time, so make sure you tune in. I will be choosing some topics that I hope uh, beginners and uh, intermediate and more advanced learners will all find useful. So next week I'm going to be talking to you about different phrases in English to show interest, to show that you're interested in something. Uh, then I've also got an idea for a lesson about saying that you disagree with somebody. Uh, and also another one which is about expressing a wish. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel to not miss any of these lessons and let me know in the comments if you would like me to talk about any specific topics in the future. So thanks for watching today and I will see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye!